and welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. Alright, so last time we kind of went up to the sky and now uh, we're really high up. So what better thing to do up here than play a minigame? So let's do a bit of digging. Alright, so for this minigame it's basically pretty simple. All we need to do is hit all the squ- yeah, here we go. Basically we just need to dig up all the gold sprites, aka any square doesn't have a beanstalk in it. So we just kind of have to memorize which ones have beanstalks. Alright, easy. So our main goal for like this entire section is to try to get, I believe it's like 55 points is what we're aiming for. Because you get a really good reward if you hit that. Whoops. Oh, no, come on. And that should be the last one. Yep, there we go. Alright, first stage is perfect. Alright, so now that the fields are going to get bigger and bigger, going to get a little harder and harder. Alright, so let me see here. What I like to do is do the edges first, or the areas that have like a bunch of... Oops, a bunch of beanstalks on them. Just so I know where to like not dig. Uh, here, right? Yeah. And then the other ones are like this one down here, so we're going to have one digging there. And the one in the corner. Also, yeah, if you ever get, like, somehow turned around, if you see a little square move like that, like we just saw, uh, that means it's always has a sprite underneath it. Perfect. Alright, one more perfect round and we should be good. Alright, ooh, this one's actually a bit more complicated. Okay. Like I said, let's try to dig around the spots where we know there are vines. Okay, we should be good here. Oh, I've already, like... Okay, this should be fine. Let's be a bit careful here. This one is safe, I know. I'm pretty sure these are vines. This one should be safe, because it's, like, pulsating. This one is safe. Oh, um, this entire left side is kind of iffy for me, because I'll still concentrate on this section right here. Alright, let's try to be a bit careful here. Like I said, if it pulsates, that means we know it's safe. Ah, uh, we don't really have the time for this, though. I need four more points. Okay. Which ones have vines and which ones don't? This one doesn't have one. Hold on. I have three seconds left. Oh, I think I'm just short, aren't I? Yeah, I'm just short. Okay, let's try that one more time. Yeah, I need to, like, pay better attention to that last one. I was too busy actually explaining things. Okay. Well, this one is easy. We know where all of them are. But yeah, I think I was just a couple points short of 55. Which is the goal that we want. That is, like, 100%. We want to get that before we leave here. Everything else is just for, like, bonus points. Which, honestly, later on, those bonus points are actually going to be really helpful. So maybe it's a good thing we wasted one, just to get a couple of extra sprite points. Okay. There, 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 there. Here. I do want to be careful I don't accidentally dig, like, somewhere I'm not supposed to. Alright, this should be good, though. This entire line should be okay, and then, yeah, the bottom one should be okay. Okay, this next one is going to be the tricky one, though. Left. There's a square down there. Two, three. Okay. I really wish we could mark it like we can in Minesweeper, but no. Alright, I think I remember the pattern. So we want to dig, like, here, here, here. And then, like, that entire... Like, that entire bottom square over here is a our vines. So I think everything from here on should be safe. Huh. 
Because they're all concentrated on, like, the corners there. And I think this row should be okay, too. Unless I misremembered something. But no, it doesn't matter anyways. We got the points we needed. Here. Uh, this one's safe, right? No, the one above it is the one I want to avoid. Yeah. If you hit a vine, you lose time. Oh, well. Anyways, that's all I really wanted because... If you get 55 points or more, you get a higher maximum stamina. This replaces the power berries. Well, some of the power berries. So yeah, we now have more maximum stamina we can work with, and that's pretty much all I wanted from this minigame, so... We're kind of done with this. Take me home. Actually, no, you don't, no, don't take me home. Take me to the Earth Sprite Village first. Uh, we have more followers to assign, right? Yep. Well, we know where they're going. You know what, I'm gonna sign a couple more to the Log Sprite. I feel bad about not giving the Log Sprite as much. But yeah, basically anytime a minigame like that pops up, we're gonna want- Oh, did I already do this today? Yeah, I already did this today. Whoops. But yeah, every time a minigame pops up, we're gonna want to make sure we do well on it just to get a stamina increase. And then there are other ways to increase our maximum stamina that we'll unlock later. Unfortunately, paying the dog does not give you more stamina. Also, my turnips are done. Alright, let's get all of these picked up. Also, where did all these trees come from? Uh, we'll get them chopped down in a second. Alright, but yeah, we're pretty much done growing turnips at this point. Unfortunately, we just don't have time to grow more. Oh, hey, my wheat's done too. Oh, hey, my wheat's done. That means I can finally move this field after forever. Hold on. Oh, and my cherries are done too. Although, mm, like I said, we can't actually, like, transplant the tree. So we're gonna need to chop it down. Unless there's a way to transplant a tree that I just don't know about, but I've never actually done it before, so... Oh, well. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's get everything else watered real quick, and then... Yeah, we'll go see if there are any more... Actually, do I want to plant right now? It might be a good idea maybe to plant a little bit, but the season is almost over. It's only two more days until the end of the season. And I do want to save some... You know what? I'm actually going to hold off on planting for a bit. Oh, I'm out of water. Because like I said before... Uh, where's my well? Like I said before, I do want to start moving around my fields a little bit, so... Yeah, I think we'll just stop planting for a couple of days until summer gets here. Plus, I want to leave room to actually plant stuff in summer. Okay. But yeah, I'm still thinking about how I want to arrange my fields. Once these are all grown as well, I'll probably move things up a bit. Alright, you know what? That's fine. Let's finish watering and then go take care of the animals. And then after that, I think our main goal right now is to try to get that third area of the farm unlocked. So, let me just take a quick stock of what we have. I know we have the silver at this point. Uh, I think we're just waiting for it to all be finished. As in, finished processing. Right, how much silver do I have? I have 18. We need 20, so that's good. Solid lumber, I think we're still waiting for that. Mortar rate, we're good on. Yeah, I think we're pretty much good, actually. We just have to wait for them to finish processing. Perfect. Oh, I should probably go to the museum later. Also, I am going to save some of this. Let's save, like, 20. I'm going to turn some of it into flour. Yeah, let's just get a good supply of flour going. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to sell the rest of the wheat. We can grow more later if we need it. Or just buy it, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, once we get that third area of the farm unlocked, I'm probably going to start grinding more silver again just to get all my tools upgraded. Alright, let's go take care of the animals. Also, get rid of any stray trees that pop up in there. I really wish there was some way other than, like, putting down paths and stuff to, like, stop stuff from spawning inside your field. I guess, like, a lot of the games in the series have that issue, where they give you more freeform building like this. I remember A New Beginning had this issue.
Oh well, I guess Stardew also had this issue. Like, anything that lets you just have freedom of building like this, they just have this issue just because, you know... What was I about to say? Oh yeah, they have this issue just because you can just do whatever you want, so sometimes it ends up like this. Do I have enough water? I do have enough water. You know what else I should probably do? I should probably get a, a well built somewhere around here. Good cow. But yeah, another thing that probably wouldn't be a bad idea is to try to- well, I'm debating on whether or not I want to put all the makers in one area, or if I want to, like, kind of spread them out a bit. Yeah, I'm still not sure which one I'm going for with that. Also, I forgot, we unlocked the pump unit already, right? No, not yet. We still need to keep leveling up our, uh, whoop. Our, not digging skill, our, I don't remember what the skill is called, but we need to keep leveling this up. Also, I think my bucket might be a good idea to start getting upgraded. It's like the bucket, the hammer, and the sickle. Fishing rod and hoe are kind of the lower priorities, with hoe being the lowest, but... Bucket wouldn't be a bad idea to get rid of all these pawns around the area. Okay. Anyways, animals have been taken care of. We've dug up a couple of the pawns. I think we're good. Let's head to town for a bit. I want to get those bags opened up. And, yeah, like I said, I was considering getting more seeds, but at this point... It might be better just to wait a bit to get seeds. Because anything I plant is just going to keep growing in the next season. I'm going to have available in the next season anyways. Uh -huh. Also, yeah, the pet derby is in like two days, by the way. We are definitely participating. Except for you, you're not participating because you're not a real person. Also, you know what else I didn't do? I didn't actually sell my cherries. Whoops. Uh, I'll do that when I get back. I also did not make vegetable juice. I kind of forgot I ran out. But yeah, what did Jason want again? He wants white dye and bricks. We need to get those makers made. Actually, hold on. What do we need for a dye maker and a brick maker again? We need... Okay, that's just iron and mortar. That one is actually really easy. We can make that one really quickly. Uh, and then dye. Oh yeah, that's the one that required silver. We might actually have some spare silver to make that with. Oh, wait, never mind. There's a brick maker. And a storage bin. And my bag is full. Hold on. Actually, you know what? Hold on a minute. I can empty my inventory real quick. It's Thursday, isn't it? Yep, I can never remember what days things are closed in this game for some reason. That's always a problem with all the games I play, actually. I have a really hard time remembering what days, like, stores are closed. Oh well. You know what? Laura, how do you feel about cherries? Mm -hmm. Alright, she likes them. Mm -hmm. Decently enough. But yeah, Pet Derby is in like two days. It closes out yeah. spring. And everyone just wants to remind me about the pet derby. Don't worry, guys. Mm -hmm. We're participating. We are definitely entering Rune Factory in the pet derby. Oh. Alright, well, anyways. There's not much else I really want to do right now, so let's head home. Hopefully the silver will be done soon. If it's not done today, it'll be done tomorrow. Actually, wait. I think it's done. Oh, right, inventory. Hold on. But with that, we should have everything we need, right? Yeah, I'm definitely going to rearrange all my storage things, and the main problem is moving the storage boxes, because in order to move them, I think we need to take everything out of them, or everything will fall out on the floor once we pick them up. So we're going to need to be a bit careful there. Oh, right, we also have a brick maker now. Uh, let's take that right here. Hold on, I need to find some clear space. We'll put it here for now. Gotta get some bricks going for that request. 
So yeah, we just need a die maker now. But with that, I think we have everything. So we have 50 solid lumber, 20 silver, and 50 mortar. Let's go. Let's get the final area of the farm unlocked, and probably the one we're going to be spending the most time repairing. Because I think there's, like, more things to repair in that area than the rest of the farm combined. Which is kind of a weird choice, but whatever. Also, yeah, I'm just going to keep leveling up my, uh... Okay, what is the skill called again? Draining skill. I'm going to keep leveling up my draining skill. But we should have everything, right? Yep, here we go. It's going to take a couple of days, so we might as well get started soon. And by soon, I mean now. Alright, that's going to get started. So yeah, I think by tomorrow we should be able to head to the new area. I forget this one, how long this one takes. Pretty sure it's only one day, but I might be wrong in that front. Okay, so while we're waiting... I did just burn all of my silver and, like, not gold, but all my, uh, good lumber. So let's just start building up our supplies again. Also, what is that health bar for? Wait, what is that health bar for? There's nothing here, game. Wait. Oh, wait, no, that's right. That's what you, you can do that to, like, fill in pawns ahead of time. I completely forgot about that. Mostly because once you empty a pawn, it just kind of goes all the way on its own. Oh, well. All right, you know what? Now that we're done here, let's go back to the old area and start cleaning things up a bit. Because, yeah, like I said, I really need to organize my makers. It's just become a hot mess. I kind of want to take a quick look around the new area first before I start thinking about where to move things. I think the makers, no matter what, are going to be here in this main area. It's the fields I'm a little bit more worried about. There we go. Oh, one more thing I want to look into. Uh, so where do I want to start putting fruit trees? I think, like, the second area is probably a good place for an orchard. Because, yeah, I have my barns and stuff here, so that's going to stay there. I might expand the, like, pen a bit once I get more animals, but for now it should be okay. I kind of want to put the orchard maybe in this area. I really want to get rid of this pond, though. But I'm not going to be able to do that one by hand. We're going to need the uh, pump before we can really do that one. Also, yeah, solid logs, not an issue anymore. Alright, well, anyways, I think that's everything I wanted to do today, so I think I'm just going to head to bed. Oh, let's also make sure we put anything we don't need, we, uh, want to keep making in the makers. Get the milk, get the eggs, get everything. Another chicken wouldn't be a bad idea either, like I said. Because that would mean more eggs a day, which would mean more profit. So that's another thought we could do. Oh, it, my inventory's full again. Hold on. I can fix this. Oh, I have enough uh, silver to put something else in. My bag is full again, huh? Oh, yeah, I have a lot of junk in here. Hold on. Alright, is there anything else I need to sell? Oh, I'm going to keep selling flowers too. I want to make sure they're available for sale. Alright, bedtime. What's the weather like tomorrow? I know the day after is the pet festival, so it's going to be raining. Or it's going to be sunny. Sunny. Alright. Because, yeah, pet derby is on the 28th, right? Yep. So we're going to need to make sure we're ready for that. And by ready, I mean... 
we kind of just have to go. I don't think there's any way to train your pet for this one. Hey, Victor, why is it raining? Didn't they say it was going to be sunny? Wait. Really? Yeah, I was going to say. I don't think bench... Do we even have benches? Well, alright. I get, Honestly, not a terrible thing to upgrade. Like, people do tend to forget about the really little stuff that kind of makes a big deal in the long run. Alright, well, we're going to be upgrading benches for this one. Also, yeah, was it supposed to rain today? I could have sworn it said sunny. Huh. Well, alright. Also, yeah, new area is unlocked. We're gonna go, go there right now. Uh, before we go, though, let's head over to the Earth Sprite Village. Alright, what do we got here? Anything good? Grass, the usual. Oh, you leveled up at least. Uh, rocks. Okay, mining sprite, come on. I've dedicated so many sprites to you. You gotta have something better than that. I forget if leaving them for a couple of days actually gives them better stuff. I don't think it does. Oh, I forgot to check the wood sprite real quick. I think it's pretty RNG uh, this early on. Oh, well. Maybe we'll start checking back every couple of days, but I could have sworn checking back daily is the way to go. Also, my turnips are done. Oh, is my wheat done too? Oh, my wheat's... Oh, sorry, not my wheat. My rice is done too. Ooh. Okay. Well, first things first, I need to clean up my inventory, but then I think we can actually start thinking about moving the fields around and adjusting things. All right, first things first, though. Let's get all this stuff sold off. And yeah, if there are any seeds I need later on, theoretically we could just buy them from the Earth Sprite Village. I just kind of prefer not to do that, because I think we're going to need a seed maker if we go that route. Also, mushrooms are done. We'll see. We'll sell 30 of those and then turn the rest into rice. Oh wait, this isn't done yet. Okay, that takes a lot longer than I remember it taking. All right, let me put it things. Let me put the things I don't need away real quick, and then I think we're gonna go check out that new area. Also, just looking at my. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I think I'm also gonna stop by the blacksmith later and get my stuff upgraded. Let me go check on my animals real quick, and then, yeah, we'll go take a look around that new area. Also, I need to start cleaning out some more trees, it looks like. Hey there, Forget-Me-Not Village. Valley. I guess it's Forget-Me-Not Valley, not Village. I don't even think it's technically big enough for a village. Because there is simply not enough people. I'm not sure what the official definition is of a village, but... I feel like Forget Me Not Valley does not qualify. <laughs> also, I keep forgetting, I always forget about Butterburrs. They're so tiny, and they're used for like one thing. But yeah, welcome to the new area. Where's my camera? I want to get a first person view. Horse! Oh, I want a horse, but I can't get one because I don't have the proper structure. Speaking of the proper structure... This isn't it, right? No, this is the old uh, hydroculture plant. A.K.A. the greenhouse. It's gonna take a while to get this one. This is probably the hardest one to get. In order to actually get it, we're gonna need to get down to the final mines. So yeah, that's probably gonna be the last building we unlock, to be honest. It's really good because it's the freaking greenhouse, but that's gonna take a while. Man, I wanna recruit you, Mr. Brown Horse, but I can't. I have nowhere to put you. You don't go in the barns. Although, 
You know what is over here, though? Alpacas, which we can't tame yet because we're not good enough. But yeah, this is the stable. We want to repair this just to get a horse. Okay, yeah, we're going to need more lumber. Figured. This is the beehive, right? Yeah, durable lumber and tough grass. So we're going to need to start chopping down trees. I think our axe is good enough, but we're going to need to upgrade our sickle. Let's keep looking around, though. There should be a couple more buildings around here, I believe. Uh, the third beach is down here. Oh, that was a new bird I could have taken a picture of. Darn it. Well, oh well. Did it come back? No. I do need to keep remembering to take pictures of stuff like this. That counts, right? Please tell me that counted. Alright, what else is around here other than a lot of trees and a lot of empty space? Oh yeah, I forgot. There's one more bridge we need to fix. It's supple lumber and silver. This one's really easy. We do want to get it fixed up because over there is the mine. So this bridge basically lets us get into the final mine. Uh, what was it again? Supple lumber? Supple lumber and silver. Alright, well like I said, our axe is good enough to chop down these trees. So we should be able to get started on that. That's probably my highest priority, to be honest, just so we can get to that mine. This is the silo, right? Yeah, silo. So we can keep, like, fodder and stuff here. I don't know why this is so late in the game. Well, quote-unquote late. Compared to everything else. Alright, bricks and silver. Alright, well, keep making bricks then. I really want to recruit you, Alpaca, but I can't. Oh, wait, no, I have enough. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I have enough to recruit a normal Alpaca. Alright, well, welcome to Ellie. Oh, what are we naming you? Okay. What have we not used yet? We haven't used Harmonica Town. Harmonica. That was the Animal Parade Village, right? Pretty sure that was Harmonica Town. Well, if it isn't, whatever. We named it something similar. And it warped me back. This is fine. What the heck was that sound? Is... Is that what alpacas sound like? Maybe. Alright, well anyways, I'm gonna head back over and just check out the rest of the area. But yeah, we can't recruit a brown alpaca yet. We can only recruit a nor like, a standard white one. Also, that is a lot of silver rocks. Hold on. I want these. But yeah, I think that's all the new structures we can unlock. It's like four, right? Let me see. Oh, ooh. That I want to get built. But I think that requires gold, right? No, only silver, surprisingly. All right. Uh, I would like to build that, though. Also, yeah, maybe the hammer would be a good thing to upgrade next. Oh, before I forget, I am also going to sell these to get them unlocked in the shop. Oh, well, there's a bunch of new mushrooms here. You know what else I should probably build soon? I should probably build myself another mushroom log. But yeah, we're still not done with silver. We're never going to be done with silver. We live in a silver economy, apparently. But yeah, in terms of priorities, like I said, the beehive I can probably take or leave, to be honest, in terms of building it. And same with the silo. Those ones are a bit lower in terms of my overall goals. The one I want to unlock first is definitely the mines, just so I can get more stuff from there. Also, there's a silky chicken here. I'm going to recruit you. Okay, so what have we not used yet? So, hold on. Let me think. So we've used Forget-Me-Not Valley, uh, Mineral Town, obviously, Flower Bud Village, Harmonica Town. I guess we could go with... I don't want to go into Trio of Towns quite yet. Because obviously we have three names from there we can use. I guess we could use those. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we could use. Well, actually, no. We could use Tale of Two Towns. Duh.
Yeah, we could just go with Blue Bell. If, hold on, if keep forgetting, I need to use my keyboard for this. But yeah, I'll probably do like triple dip into a uh, trio of towns at some point. Alright, anyways, we're going to continue exploring the new area for a minute. Because I want to make sure we're not missing anything. Mostly, I just... Actually, you know what? This will probably be a better view if I did this. I just want to make sure we're not missing anything hiding behind trees. I can't recruit you yet. Well, tame you, whatever. I don't think there are any more animals around here. Yeah, I don't see any more animals around here. Alright. But yeah, that's basically the entire farmland. The farmland in this game is actually pretty huge. And at some point... You know what? At some point we might start thinking... Well... I was thinking about moving maybe the barn areas up here eventually if it gets too big. But I think what we have right now should be okay. We might just have to split it. But yeah, unfortunately we can't get sheep yet. That's not until summer. Because for some weird reason, the animals around the area change from from season to season. So sheep aren't unlocked until summer. Alright. Also, yeah, there's a swamp. There's like an entire field and countryside back here we can't get to. I wonder if they plan for that to be like a new area at some point. Because I'm pretty sure we're not allowed back there, are we? No, I don't think so. Alright. Well, anyways, that's the uh, new farm area. Let's head back to the main area and get everything else clean. Okay, you know what? Hold on a second. If we're going to be heading back, I might as well this is not the right tool. Oh, crap. I just realized what time it is. Okay, never mind. I'll come back here and clear out the area later. Uh, I need to get to the shops before they close. Because I have a lot of tool upgrades I want to do today, and let's go get those done. Because that's going to make the new area a whole, whole lot easier to deal with. Also, I need to get rid of these trees. They're getting in the way again. I need to put some paths down. That's kind of the only real way to stop trees from growing everywhere. Alright, let's go. I want to get there before they close. Oh yeah, we should probably also check out the new town request, too. Wait. I'm going to catch myself this time. Go to the right shop for once in your life. Hey. Alright, let me see here. How much money do we have? We have 12,000, so we can upgrade three tools. Uh, first thing is... I'm gonna upgrade the sickle so I can get the new grass type. And then I think I'm gonna upgrade the hammer, just to get... Hmm. Honestly, I'm split between the hammer or the bucket. The bucket would make emptying ponds a lot quicker. The hammer would make... Breaking rocks a lot quicker. I can see, like, pros and cons to both of them. You know what? I'm gonna get the hammer. That's gonna make it easier to get more silver. And yeah, unfortunately I don't have enough silver to get the rest yet, but we will eventually. Also, did I bring the bags? I didn't bring the bags with me. I am so inefficient today. That's fine, though. Listen, you don't have to be super efficient every single day. Sometimes it's good just to take a day to chill a bit. I am going to sell, like, the things I don't need, though, just to get them in the shops. Also, why am I still carrying around a wooden box with me? Let's, uh, put that down for now. I'll stick it here for now. Alright, what do I not need to carry? Get some more silver going. Get some... Oh, hey, both my chickens are laying the same level eggs now. Perfect. This is still not done. Oh, my God. How long does it take to make, like, flour? All right. Well, anyways, that'll be done eventually. Uh, let's get those bags to the museum. And, yeah, tomorrow's the pet derby, so we should have fun with that. And then after the pet derby, obviously, we'll have to do, like... Summer stuff. 
Speaking of summer stuff, maybe we should also start thinking about getting more sprinklers, which is, once again, going to require more silver. Like I said, we live here forever now. We are never- well, no, that's not true. We're, eventually, we're not going to need silver anymore, but right now, we are going to need a ton of silver. Also, here's your brick. Alright, so what do we need for the town request? Either supple lumber... ...or bricks. So, either supple lumber or bricks. We're just gonna ignore that middle one. We don't need it. Uh, we still need to make dye, obviously. Which we'll have to make eventually. Okay. Oh, do I have any uh, new titles? I do. Money, 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 beans. Oh, hey, silver. Also, with all the excitement, I once again forgot to make Laura vegetable juice. I literally made a bunch of them just so I wouldn't have to keep forgetting, and then I ran out and I didn't make more. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna run home and make a bunch of it tonight. Oh, that's a jewelry ring. Why was that in a pond? Okay, never mind. We have something else to give to Laura instead. Silver town metal, so sell. Gibbon stone, which... Have we donated that before? I don't think we did. No, wait, no. I think we did. Never mind. I mean, we can find out in a second. Hello. Also... What do you mean no wild animals are in the photo? I can see a wild animal there. Oh, I guess it didn't count. Wait. Are minks not wild an- Because there are wild animals in this game? Yeah, we've donated one before. Hold on a minute. I need to go check out something real quick. Oh, actually, before I head back. All right, now let's head back home. I got a couple more things to sell. Uh, in terms of... Oh, hello. Hey, Laura, I was just talking to you. Well, I mean, we have something we need to get doing, but... Okay, I guess we'll help out with a bit of manual labor. Laura, you need to calm down a bit. We don't need to do all this work. Go take a break. No, I was gonna say take a break, but okay, I guess we're helping out anyways. Eh, I had time to kill. But no, you're working so hard, we might as well help out. Alright, anyways, like I said, let's head home. I want to check out something before we wrap things up. Also, yeah, our new tools means we should be able to also clear out that last area, but I think we'll wait on doing that for now. Maybe after tomorrow. That'll be like our new summer project. I really need to get rid of this stupid tree. Okay, you know what? No, our summer project is going to be laying out paths everywhere, so I don't keep getting stuck on things. Uh, where was that? I think it was a weasel, right? It was around here somewhere. There it is, Ermine. I guess I just... That is a terrible picture, but okay. Oh, you know what I think happened? Because I was technically on a different, like, level than it. It didn't count as a picture. I guess I probably should have actually looked. To make sure, like, the little pop-up came up, but oh well. But with that, I think we're actually going to wrap things up here, because tomorrow is the pet derby. So, uh, next time on Let's Play Story Seasons Pioneers of Wild Town, we're going to go participate in that. It is not... Man. I miss being able to chop down every tree in a single swing. We need to upgrade our axe soon. Alright, so, till next time.